to my studio. I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for dropping by. This Fighting Fish is Project 9 from the Strathmore Learning Series How to Draw Nature with Colored Pencil and is rendered with Strathmore Bristol Vellum Paper using Prismacolor Premier Pencils. I began the project by creating the outline of the fish with a light cerulean blue. I then began to develop the eyelid with light cerulean blue and imperial violet, then used black to color in the eye. I began to develop the body and fins using cloud blue in all areas except for the bright white and red areas. If you'd like to see more tutorials, product reviews, and participate in future live streams, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss out. I burnished white over the eyelid and then added more cerulean blue and imperial violet. Darken the iris with ultramarine and violet blue, leaving the white highlight and finish the pupil off with black. I layered the body of the fish with lilac and permaviolet. I began creating the streaks in the fins using true blue and light aqua, then blocked in the red areas with crimson lake, or so I thought. Unfortunately, as I was laying down the red, I thought it was a bit orange looking and discovered I did it again and picked up poppy red instead. I quickly picked up the correct color and started going over the fins with Crimson Lake. Fortunately, this time it was an easy fix and didn't really affect the final outcome of the piece. After my last few projects, I decided to take a break from this series and felt refreshed once I did. Unfortunately, I came back to the fighting fish, which I wasn't super excited about. I had already created a very similar project in the last Strathmore Learning series, Creating Texture with Color Pencil. I am thinking that it's just fish in general I don't really care to create. I'd like to know if you feel the same way. Does it bother you to do the same project more than once? Or do you prefer to do projects in this manner and use the first one as practice? Let me know in the comments below. I added pale vermilion over the curves of the body and burnished with cloud blue. I continued to add more streaks of blue and red using ultramarine, imperial violet, poppy red, tuscan red, and crimson light. I then began to burnish the streaks with white. I used true blue to draw curved scales along the fish's body and created dark markings using violet blue. I continued to use violet blue with the lightest touch just to darken the fish a bit more. At this point I was supposed to start the black in the background but decided I was going to wait for that until I was done with the fish. So I moved on to my white pencil to start blending the body. I then added peach, lilac, and violet blue to develop the scales more. I used pale vermilion over the body and mouth area to bring out the coral then burnished again with white and created the gill using black. I then ran through the colors again and further developed the color of the fish and continued burnishing with white. I went back and forth with this process until I was satisfied with the final appearance. Once that was complete, I then put a layer of black colored pencil over the background. That was followed by using my Stabilo All Black Marking Pencils number 8046 over the layer of black. This pencil creates the blackest black for the background, making the fish pop and giving the piece a finished look. And that's about it. Just three more projects to finish this series. I'm excited to be almost complete with this series. And, spoiler alert, I will be moving on to watercolor after this series is complete. Nervous! This will be a completely new experience. Experience. So wish me luck and join me on this watercolor journey coming up. Until next time, keep on arting. Bye!